What's up everybody? It's Tyler from Second Glass. This is the wine of the weekend and this week we're drinking Tempranillo. So Tempranillo comes from Spain, but they grow it all over the world. The Spanish ones right now really offer a tremendous value and that's why we want to tell you guys like the Riojas, killer killer price. You can get a badass bottle of wine for not a whole lot of money. The first wine we have this week is the Vina Real Crianza from the Rioja part of Spain. Tempranillo is the predominant grape in the Rioja region of Spain. And so if you're gonna get a Rioja, chances are it's either 50, 60, 70, 80, all the way up to 100% Tempranillo. They do grow some other grapes and they blend them, but if you get a Rioja, it's probably gonna be made with the Tempranillo grape. And so this wine that we're drinking is from a quite the famous winery. It's called Campania Vinicola del Norte de España, or CUNE, C-U-N-E. It's a weird acronym, it's technically C-V-N-E, but they say CUNE because it's wine people we kind of want to talk fast. This wine, in order to be called a Crianza, the wines legally have to be aged for two years. One of those years has to be aged in oak barrels. So for not a whole lot of money, you're getting a pretty cool wine that has some age to it. So this one's from 2009. The next wine we're drinking comes from a region in Spain called Ribera del Duero, which is right next to the Rioja region. And the predominant grape here is, again, is Tempranillo. But the twist on this region is they also blend a lot of international grapes. So you'll find Tempranillo blended with Cabernet, Merlot, Syrah, along with some indigenous grapes. These wines tend to be a little bit like burlier and a little bit heavier. You know, you can get really great Ribera del Duero for like eight bucks, but the most expensive ones go all the way up to like a couple hundred dollars a bottle. So it really does have this big range. And they also seem to call the grape something else here. They call it uh, Tinto Fino. When I saw this, I was like, I thought that's Tempranillo, and I actually had to Google it. Tinto Fino is the name of Tempranillo in Rivera del Duero, because they, you know, like to keep you guessing and Googling. But this is a great bottle of wine, perfect with barbecue, perfect with mac and cheese, that kind of thing. It's just a really good all-around wine. Uh, pretty stellar. The third wine we have for you guys this week is called the Zucardi Q Tempranillo. And this comes from Mendoza in Argentina. This one is actually pretty high quality, really great bottle of wine. And I think Argentina has pretty much, the, they've had a long history of making a large amount of Tempranillo. And so they end up making a fair amount of quantity of it. It's definitely fruitier, it's bolder in that, you know, more modern new world style versus the old world style of Spain. But it's a really great bottle of wine and something you should definitely check out. So those are the wine of the weekends. So grab some Tempranillo this week, check them out, try some different stuff, and let us know what you think. Cheers.